<laughs> I can hardly take this serious. Uh, ladies and gents, welcome to Tiny Arabia. Arabia is one of the most popular maps in Age of Empires 2, and this is the smallest version of Arabia we've ever seen. Uh, in the red, we have our Remku, and in the blue, we've got John Slow, two players known for their arena plays. And this is just ridiculous. Gotta love how Capture Age does not fully understand the minimap. Anyways, here we are. Uh, we have Persians for John Slow. So if you know Persian town centers have more HP, you're probably thinking that's what he's gonna do. And we have Goths from Aremku, and Aremku immediately researched Loom. Goths get instant Loom, so villagers are armored. And he's like, he it's a lame fest right now. He knows the TC's probably over here. And dude, you, you gonna have a villager to kill this elephant? Oh boy, this is this is pretty ridiculous. So we, we have a bunch of different uh, maps to try out here. And we are going to do small versions of a lot of different maps. And I expect them all to be fairly ridiculous. But so far, a difference of approach for our Remku. Oh, dude, he could have taken the other elephant. Did he see it? Oh, he could see the other elephant too. He's stealing, <laughs> He's stealing everything. Oh, my God. I think John Slow has just now realized that all of his elephants are disappearing. And oh! Oh! Oh, we re aggroed it! Wait, is it chasing? What's happening? The elephant stopped chasing. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I mean, there's a reason I paused at the start here, guys, because I knew this would be insane. Oh god, he's back at it for more. He really wants this elephant. John Slow trying to deny it. I'm surprised that the. the Scout is, is still able to pull this off, and this is very impressive from Aremku, and he is actually going to get that elephant. So, you know, for John Slow, he might have lost some goats as well, actually. Let's say he's lost two goats. He lost both of his elephants, right? Yeah, because there's another elephant here, so it's going to be four elephants for one player here. Oh my goodness, now, there are some goats over here. It's funny how they've almost found the entire, scouted the entire map at this point. It hasn't taken long. Here he's trying to get away with the goat as well. And so our Emku with three dead elephants underneath the town center right now. But John Slow sees the town center. Right? So I think the fact that he got these two goats and the fact that he sees this town center is important here. Because uh, what I was thinking is that the Persian player is going to drop a town center. You just delete your starting TC. You build it right next to your opponent. That's why these walls are going to be important here for our Emku. Um, so yeah, he's going to full wall his map. <laughs> um, and we'll see if John So can even keep villager production going. He can take the berries here. He can take the berries here. But look, like I'm zoomed out. That's the entire map right there. We have already kind of seen everything. But I think, you know, I've never seen somebody lose so much food this quickly in a game. It might be a positive that he's lost this much food at this stage because he has... He knows about it. Like, it didn't happen later on in the game when he was expecting to have the elephants. He can at least assess the situation. But we'll see if John Slow can come back from this one, guys, because our MQ has completely walled off Arabia. And I have to imagine maybe his plan now is to use all this feud and go food and go feudal age, excuse me. So, tiniest Arabia ever. These are not Arabia players, we should say that. But I just knew picking these two would produce entertaining games. So if you're excited for more, there will be other maps as well, like Islands, Black Forest, Hideouts, and Arena, of course. And Johnso is definitely planning on dropping a TC. So here's where it gets interesting. Oh, God, he's deleted it now. Oh, God, he, he I thought he was going to wait a, a longer period of time here. He's going to drop the TC now. And I'm pretty certain that cannot range Aremku's TC. I was thinking he would need to use villagers to block, take out the palisade walls. But John Slow says, you might have taken my elephants, but I'm taking half the map. This is where I live now. Now, they use a, a taunt pack. I don't know what 453 actually means, but we're all just going to be like, ha ha ha, so funny in the comments because we know what that says. Maybe someone can tell us. And look at that. He actually kills a villager. Yeah, that's right. It's what you get for eating my elephant. But now what? <laughs> I actually, you know, maybe now you aim to build another one? He's down in villagers now because he didn't have a TC to produce villagers. He had to spend 
275 wood and 100 stone to build that. And our Remku is expecting another TC is going to come up here. Oh my god. And he is now dropping Palisade Foundations because he's terrified that a TC could fit. But guys, a TC could still fit here. That could still range. And I guess now it's kind of interesting is you can't actually wall behind this because the TC is there. 453 is hello, motherfucker. Okay, got it, got it. Thanks for the context. Well, John Slow, he has the resources to build another one. And I'm telling you, we could just build it here. And it still could shoot down Aramku's TC, but Aramku's on the way to Feudal Age now. Aramku's had all that food. He still has some gold and wood back here. <laughs> He's dropping more Palisade Foundations to drop the TC uh, from John Slow, but John Slow's just gonna. Oh, he's going to drop it there. He gets it down. But wait, no. Bro, that's so bad. Dude, that's so bad. You can't get... Yeah. Why not? Am I missing something? May... Well, maybe it's good, but I mean, it's going to take 16 hours to build. Okay, but he is building it. And that's the important thing here. And our Mku sees this and knows it's going to go up. And now he is deleted. He's deleted his walls and he wants to sneak around back here. Okay, so TC's going to go up. Our MQ's TC's probably going to be shot down. The normal strategy that you go for with the TC drop is you shoot down their TC and then you Vill Rush. So the idea behind going to Feudal Age is good in the event that you can actually make army with it. Now, our MQ is much faster than Jon Slow, so Jon Slow probably won't be able to deal with the Vill fighting aspect of this as he wanted more stones so he could make another TC. Actually, you could tell what's happening. He just gives up on that vill. He's like, I'm too old for this. And now he's tried to quick wall. And yeah, okay. He's an arena player, right? He's an arena player. This is what you expect. But, you know, now you don't want to get too close here if you're Remku. And like, what's your plan here? Jon Slow is going to shoot this TC down. And pretty soon you're not going to have one if you're Remku. He doesn't have a barracks. There's like no space for anything. And John's still walling in the wood line, which is obviously very important. He could Vill Rush all of this soon if he wants to. God, how many times is John still going to place Palisade Foundations on the same mill? Our Mku's just attacking with Vills. Now, he is adding a barracks. He could drop a tower. Like, I I'm surprised he hasn't, actually. A tower here would be pretty strong. It's 21 Vills for both. And yes, one player's in Feudal Age with the potential to make army, but they haven't been able to do it yet. Aramku is now walling in John Slow, and he's taking out the mill as well. <laughs> this is crazy. What are we gonna see out of that barracks, if anything? Oh, he's TC he's TCing here! Of course! I didn't think about that. He just lost his town center, so now he's gonna build the TC here. That's why he walled in the fills. Duh. Sorry, I'm still not used to this meta. Now the lumber camp's been deleted so the Vills can escape. And uh, this is uh, ridiculous. So we've had multiple TC drops. We expected this. Let's see if John So could actually stop this one from going up, though. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think there's any way he can. Now he could kill some vills, right? And he's killed a couple of villagers here. But now you have to get out of here, so you don't lose villagers once this TC is completed. John Slow. John Slow needs to get out. Now what John So is unable to do was. Okay, he's going to try and escape with those. What he was unable to do is he was unable to get enough stone and wood for another TC. So, you know, it hasn't really been a pretty game. It's been about as ridiculous as I was hoping for. Johnso still has access to food, which is kind of nice. I guess there is a random goat there for Aramku if he can remember it. But Aramku is going to add an archer range. Now, I like this move. I think a couple archers for map control could be really good. I don't know where that villager's going. He must have been forgotten about. Scout now attacking. This is what happens when you turn what's normally an aggressive open map into the smallest map possible. 36 tiles. We will have just one archer on the way for our Remku, but he doesn't have golden come right now. He's just trying to trap these vills. He can't make a tower either, so this is pretty crazy. Gonzo's still desperate to get the stone... Uh, for a, another town center. I'm sure he wants to TC drop here. He's going to be right back where he started here in a moment. HP on the villager is very important here. Jonso is still trying to get the stone. He just wants, like, four more stone here. He does have wood income. 
So we know what's coming next, right? Gunso's actually killed more villagers here. He lost all elephants. He had no elephants. Look, he's just going to drop off the stone here. Villagers holding their own against the archers as well. Now he has the stone. Okay. So now does he delete his own house here? Or his palisades? This is funny. We see our Emku going to gold. So he's finally like, okay, I'm going to make army and treat this like a standard game. And Johnso says, nope, actually, we're not going to let you do that. I'm now making another town center. <laughs> and this is going to nuke our Emku. Now, what's funny is, this TC from Aramku is only his second, so he could actually afford one more. Does he just go back where he started? <laughs> okay, because you can't beat a Persian Town Center. The Persian Town Center has too much HP. <laughs> uh, look at the look at the mini-map, by the way. Like, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's like a normal map got chicken pox. Okay, these villagers are moving like they're going to make a new TC. I would make that thing as far in the corner as possible. And 23 villagers versus 21. <laughs> uh, you know, Vil's still very important. Jonso is still microing very well. I think Aramku will get that one, though. No? Okay, couldn't keep track. And this, this TC is going to go down. Honestly, you know what is becoming more important than anything right now is we have villagers and a goat just walking. I think the most important thing here is actually food, right? Like, John Slow can still produce vills. So if he loses villagers, he, he's going to be making more all the time. And he's going to have the town center, right? So, I mean, then again, you don't want to be losing villagers like this. There's now two archers, soon to be five archers out. John Slow having some problems. Still stuck in Dark Age. But we've seen this before with TC drops on normal maps. You can still win... As long as you can always produce more villagers. And the berries are is the only like natural food income left. And okay, so Jonso can clearly see something's going on over here. He saw the villagers run that way. Villagers there for the archer. Let's see the slowest person at the high level in Age of Empires 2 try and micro down archers with villagers consistently. Not gonna be easy. He wants to wall in the archer range, ambitious to say the least. And here, he's getting pulled to the corner where that same goat still is still there. And we've got archers. So we've got archers, we've got goats, we've got villagers, and then we've got a TC now. I think John Slow's running out of ideas here. He's down in age. He's going to lose more villagers. He's trying to kill the archers. If he successfully walls in the range, it'd be amazing, but he ran out of wood, actually. He's completely out of wood. Can't afford to do it. That means archers could still come out, and the GG is called. That is the smallest Arabia game you'll ever see, and that is about as ridiculous as I expected it to be. What a ridiculous game. Johnso started here, ended up here, ended up here, ended up here. Aramku started here, ended up here, ended up here, and then won the game. Great job from him to control the chaos. I think we saw six or seven TCs. I don't know. Someone can do the math for me. But um, in the end, Aramku's really fast start of stealing the elephants was so smart. Like, clearly he did his prep. Clearly he did his homework on what to do here. I think if John So had, like, one elephant, he could have maybe actually reached Feudal Age in this game. But he was just forever Dark Age in this one. Um, pretty ridiculous game. Thanks to the players for playing. I, I knew these two would be fun. And there's the resources collected. So for a player who got TC dropped quite a few times, it looks like he did a decent enough job with, um, what is that, 800 more resources collected? I mean, a lot of that was the elephants. Like, two extra elephants is 800 more food. That's actually more than 800. I failed math class. Um, that, that would be like 1,200. But still, the elephants were a significant portion of that, to say the least. Whoa, look at the exploration, guys. Have you ever seen a map get explored like that? 21 minutes in, 99% 98%. These two players are just incredible at what they do. They've got such map awareness all the time. What a unique game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. These tiny maps are going to continue to come to the channel. We've got some more action coming up next. And I can't wait to see it.